Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash on Rug. This is Venkat here. Today, I'm going to talk about the great topic, so cyber security. Under the cyber security series, like I'm going to talk about uh, the basic sense of hacking, like uh, footprinting, reconnaissance, enumeration, and you got. You know, I'm going to talk about the vulnerability analysis. So these are the areas I'm going to discuss with you. So before that, cyber security is one of the major area where we need to focus to secure our system and every company is looking for the cyber security specialist okay so we need to learn from the basics the step by step procedure followed by a hacker to enter into the system is the one we must learn as a cyber security professional okay and this video will provide a lot of information the previous video we have seen on the information security and this is a consecutive series we are going to discuss now what we are discussing let's see like what we are discussing now so in the previous video i have discussed about the information security and ethical hacking and in this video i'm going to talk about the footprinting and reconnaissance and next video i'm going to talk about the system and network hacking and the next video will be talking about the hacking devices web and devices and uh, advanced hacking and there's a consecutive one so these are the upcoming videos we are going to work out let's move on to the part seven of the video that is reconnaissance and footprinting over here at the end of the video like we got a cash price question to motivate my people my subscribers and my students so just like check the video and answer those questions you'll be getting a cash price okay so before going ahead like a cashew infotech company so there are a lot of companies they are looking for students from our company our trained candidates okay so and we are referring those candidates so congrats to the december month placed candidates and uh, congrats to the january month placed candidates wishes to you and uh, here is the one to the recruiters and the companies if you got any opportunities if, if any of the company people or recruiter looks into this video please send your job like a job description to us we are ready to refer our best candidate to you the trained candidates to you no charges okay on the other hand if any of my student my core students look into my this video video please i request your people to contact me sir i need a job shift i want a career change i want to learn something i want to go for a new job please contact me i'm ready to help you okay so the, here is the opportunities like uh, there are some recent opportunities which i'm trying to show you like uh, i got some opportunities on java.net and uh, other things like two days before i got this opportunity we got some opportunities for the general msc mca like a b candidates dotnet uh, opening is going on the same thing is it <laughs> okay so dotnet opening is going on and uh, they're asking for 2020 and 2021 password students they're looking for web design engineers so kashiv in for the trained candidates don't forget java and .NET candidates okay so this is how the opportunities for this week okay okay so it's time for me to enter into our technological session hacking tutorial the three areas so what are the three areas we are going to discuss now let's move on so here is the first area i'm going to talk about the footprinting requirements I mean, enumeration vulnerability analysis these are the three areas i'm going to talk now and here is my insta account to contact me for any technology doubts or for any career information, career updates or anything, just contact me, treat me as a brother. Anytime I'm ready to help you. So this is my Insta account, Kashiv underscore info. Click this follow button and contact me anytime. My name is Vinkins. And here's my contact numbers to contact me. Okay, footprinting. So reconnaissance is nothing but who is that victim? Who is the victim and what is the attack? I'm going to do it. Yes, I found the victim. And the second thing is like the hacker will try to identify in what way I'm going to attack this guy. I need to collect the basic information that is called the footprinting information of that particular user. So that is the one I'm going to do it. Okay. So here is the three important things that footprinting concepts will do it. The one is like collecting the basic information about the target. Once the information is collected automatically, like uh, the information can be on the like information about the operating system, the technology use, the web server use, what is the like uh, what is the, like a uh, platform it's running, everything we are able to collect it. And automatically, based on the weakness of the software and the operating system or the like uh, the, the, the targets, they will identify the vulnerability and inject it using exploits. Okay, so getting this information is called as footprinting, collecting an information. Okay. So what is a threat, sir? 
So once the footprinting is done, the one is like social engineering. Once if they collect some information from you, automatically they are able to like uh, hack, hack your Facebook accounts or social accounts or something like that. That is a threat. And they may attack your computers and the networks. So that is a major different attacks. And the information of yours is leaked. Maybe the company information is sensitive one. It will be giving a business loss. Okay, and it is like a corporate espionage. Corporate espionage is like a, like a, uh, it is like a action taken on other company or something like that. So revenge on the other companies. And finally, it will be a privacy loss for you people. Okay, so footprinting is the one which we need to like uh, resolve it once if we are able to identify there is a footprint happening on our account. Okay, here is my cash in for the website. You are able to see the IP address of the company is found. The name of the technical contact and other guy is found. The admin contact is found. The address is found. The DNS server is found. The like, uh, traffic rank is found. When the website is created, when it is updated, when it is expiring, everything is collected. That's how. So they will try to collect some basic information via the footprinting concept. Okay, so we should be really careful and we have to we have to like block these informations from getting like uh, reaching others. There are two types of footprinting available. The one is passive, the other one is active footprinting. Passive footprinting in the sense, this is how it will be. Passive footprinting in the sense like gathering the information without interactions. Say Kashi Infodex site, you collected some information without my knowledge, I'm the owner of the website, right? So collecting information about someone without interacting with them. And the recent trend is like the interaction is more. Active footprinting becomes real famous now in the current market. What is active footprinting, sir? Active footprinting in the sense like you, the people will try to collect the information by direct interaction. They will call you, they will talk to you and they will try to collect some information while talking to you. Sir, your password or your uh, your debit card number, sir, your CVV number, sir, they will try to collect it. Like a, like a telling the DR from the bank or something like that. So you should be really careful, people. So here is a methodology. The hackers are using it to collect those information. The first methodology is collecting the information via search engine. Why are Google and all, so just go to Google, search for Kashi Infotech, you'll be getting some information, right? So those kind of information reporting from web services. So from the like uh, uh, web related services, you are able to collect some information. So you just go to like Quora.com, I will be having some information. So many people will type about Kashi Infotech, maybe. Like from social web, like web services, you are able to identify. Footprinting through social networking, you can check my LinkedIn. From LinkedIn collecting cash in for the company, from Facebook, from Instacon, from Twitter, getting some information about the company from the website. They will enter into cash in for the website, they will collect all the information about the company. Where is the company? Yes, the contact us address is there, man. Email footprinting from the emails. The Venkat is sending an email from that one. Oh, this is the guy who is like who is running the company, something like that. They will try to get some information. Email footprinting. Who is footprinting is the one which I shown you before. Collecting the DNS kind of information. So, so DNS kind of information. And DNS footprinting will have much more additional information. The IP address of the server, a website, the server name, where the website is located, when the website is created, updated, deleted, everything. So you are able to collect lots of information. Network footprinting. So collecting the network related information. That is your network footprinting. And finally, you got your social engineering calling you via SMS or via WhatsApp. They'll try to connect you and they'll try to grab some information via social engineering. This is, becomes real worse nowadays. Okay, so this is how the people will collect it. So I want to learn much more on this one, sir. Just go to wikitiki.com slash tutorial slash ethical hacking. Venkat, I have written articles. I put this link in the description. Please use it and this. Like I get a lot of information. So this is these are the contents you'll be seeing it in your uh, in this particular link. Okay, I'll put this one link in the description on the first comment. Okay, let's move on to the second area called enumeration. So finding the like person reconnaissance is done from their footprinting is done. The third step is enumeration, collecting much more, much more information about a person or about the website or about the victim. That is called as enumeration. 
So enumeration is the third phase of ethical hacking and penetration testing. And over here, you are able to collect much more about the user, about the group, about the DSS information, about the routing tables, everything. That is how the enumeration starts. Here are the five types of enumeration attacks I'm going to discuss now. So the five types of enumeration attacks are, okay, the five types of enumeration attacks are, so here is the first attack we are going to discuss. The one is DNS enumeration, collecting the domain name service or server information about the like advanced information about a website. We will try to collect it. That is a DNS enumeration. The other one is SNMP or SMTP enumeration, collecting from the mail servers, from the networks. Okay, so SNMP is a simple network management protocol, SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol, collecting information from them. So that is another one. The other one is LDAP. Once you enter into the website or enter the network, you are able to get the user details and modifying the user privileges. Lightweight directory access protocol. This is an advanced kind of hacking in in the networking okay in the networks okay and database enumeration is the worst part where the, the hackers will try to fit some information from the database they may modify it that's it the data is gone so you should be really careful on that and the final one is like net bios this is a this is relevant to the networking concept where net bios is like the terminology or the tool used to hack the information from the network okay these are the five different types of attacks that people will be doing it during the process of enumeration okay so here is the example i'm trying to show you people okay over here you are able to see enumeration to face a record for your website there are very important records like a record mx record c name records and a lot of records will be there so this particular a record is very very important for your website to redirect registering with the world wide web and redirecting to the website Okay, I'm, I put a lot of your videos related to this one in my channel, so please go and watch it. Okay, you are able to see the A record is extracted from my website. This is called as enumeration. And you are able to see the MX record is extracted from my website. This is called as enumeration. Okay, these are some of the process used to access the content which is relevant to your website, which is not to be taken out. Okay, here is the URL. Just go here and you are able to see the textual information and more details on enumeration. Please watch it and enjoy my content. Okay, so I'm loading a lot of content, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> okay. sir, till now you told about hacking and other things, sir. What is the scope of the cyber security specialist, sir? Let's talk about the scope of the cyber security specialist vulnerability analysis. Okay, that's the one we are going to see now. So, sir, I want to become a cyber security specialist, sir. What I can do? So, just learn cyber security. And on top of it, learn some of the technology to build your profile. Okay, cyber security specialist in the sense, this is how you need to build your profile. Before that, Kashif Infota company, our company, we are offering internships and also courses. Okay, we are providing online internships and also offline. Online, offline is there. So you just contact us, we are ready to help you. Okay, so here is the Kashif Infota certified cyber security internship courses with the four different things you have to learn it to build your profile okay i assure you i guarantee you that you will get job for sure and your profile is awesome people okay you must learn web designing cyber security net or java or python and sql server or oracle okay this is how you must learn it okay and you will be like the salary will be awesome people please build your profile please 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 build your profile your salary will be awesome so salary is awesome 100% safest job opportunities and any degree, any department people can study. Okay, just just blindly just learn these things. You will be an expert. You just contact me at any time. Treat me as a brother. I'm ready to help you. Okay, okay. It's time for me to move. Okay, so I want to like, uh, learn cyber security. So what are the topics I must learn, sir? Here is a link. So go to kashivinfo.com cyber security training in Chennai. Go to this link. Just scroll down to the bottom. You are able to see the de detailed content of what you must learn okay what you must learn in cyber security so learn this one build your profile you'll be entering into the job for sure okay okay so let's move on to the scope of cyber security specialist vulnerability analysis vulnerability analysis in the sense so once the vulnerability is found what you need to do it sir 
So here is the one. So once the vulnerability is identified, so you need to identify the vulnerability. And the second step is you need to find what is the risk of that vulnerability, sir? What is the risk of that risk? <laughs> and find it and afterwards from there do analysis on that and finally like you have to prepare the remediation the recovering process from this vulnerability this is how you need to prepare yourself okay if you want to learn on the vulnerability analysis go to the same link over here okay scroll down you are able to see the vulnerability analysis in ethical hacking here just click it you are able to see the entire content learn it build your profile okay <laughs> Okay, so here is the question man quiz question. So the question is simple. The what are the five types of enumeration attacks available? Okay, start looking into it. So you need to like a uh, go to the comment or okay, go to the comment and type your the question the same question type it and put your name and Put the answer the five types just put it in the answer and apart from that So over the link go to this link and put your Google Peer account details and the winners will be getting cash prize Okay, enjoy the cash price people. Okay, so we are giving like uh, offline internships and online internship in my Chennai office. You can contact me at any time for any kind of doubts on anything. And apart from that, I request you people to share this video to your friends and everyone. It's time for me to say goodbye to you people. So hope you enjoy my video. And this is Venkat signing up from Wiki Techie and Kashi Infotech. Jai Hind.